Hi everyone, we are celebrating 50 years of Richard Scarry's iconic picture book, <gasps> Cars and Trucks and Things That Go, with this special brand new anniversary edition. And hopefully a brand new generation of readers can learn all about the big wide world and make some really happy reading memories, just like the ones I have from my childhood of reading Richard Scarry's books. So my first memory of reading uh, Richard Scarry's books is probably when I used to read this one. Now this is the actual copy that I had when I was a child, so you can see it's pretty, pretty old, but I absolutely loved this book. And as you can see, look, loads and loads of entries. It's a dictionary, it's an actual dictionary, so it's in alphabetical order. And it's all the characters, all of Richard's famous and well-loved characters make an appearance in this book. And I particularly loved it when Dingo the dog here used to turn up and I would spend hours and hours just pouring through the pages of this book as you can see there's so much to see in this book and you know just looking at it today it really brings back those memories right to the fore so um yeah i absolutely love this book and i still do today well i had loads of richard scarry books as a kid some of them i've still got like this one richard scarry's storybook dictionary and this one too this was my this was one of my absolute favorites when i was a kid what do people do all day um Great Big Schoolhouse, still got that one as well. Um, actually, I think this might be a newer edition because I re-bought all the books to read to my own children as well. Busiest people ever, but this is a cool one. Boom. Look at that. Now that is a big book, biggest word book ever. So yes, lots of Richard Scarry books and I love them all. Ooh, so hard to pick one, but if I had to, it would probably be this one. What do people do all day? I spent hours just pouring through those illustrations. Um, and if I had to pick two, my other one would probably be this one. <laughs> the biggest word book ever. The reason I love this is because I used to read this with my youngest daughter, Poppy, at bedtime. And one of our favorite things to do was, hang on, oh, it's quite big this, isn't it? It's quite big, but and one of our favorite things to do was um, one of us, we would sit there, lie there on the bed, look at that, looking through the pages, and one of us would say one of the characters, spot one of the characters, and the other one would have to find it on the page. And I think, yeah, actually, I really remember this, this guy here, this little mouse in this rainbow pencil, um, which is strangely appropriate for me, the fact that I like that character. But yes, that would be one of my favorites too. Um, I think just the level of detail. I absolutely love that because, right, for example, I love those street scenes like there on the cover of What Do People Do All Day and, and things like this. Look, this kind of cross-section of a, of a ship because I think it's very important with children's books. You can look at this illustration, you know, hundreds of times and every single time you'll spot something different. There's so much detail to enjoy and I as a child I used to love pouring over that detail and I also used to love trying to draw uh, trying to draw my own versions of this as well and trying to copy his style because actually I mean he's a genius he's a genius as an artist but it's quite um, a fairly easy style to kind of copy so I really really think he helped me get better and better at drawing when I was younger so I really do have a lot to thank Richard Scarry for. <laughs> Oh yeah, he definitely did spark my love of illustration and certainly influenced me when it, when it came to the time that I was making my own picture books. He influenced me, I would say mainly just through the level of detail that he puts in his illustrations. So for example, so what do people do all day? Yeah, this page. So here, this kind of thing, these kind of cross sections here, uh, like this one of this house here. Um, I, I just think, you know, the fact that you can just keep looking at that illustration and find something new every time you read this book, I think that's a really, really important part of children's books. So when I when I make my own books, I make sure to put loads and loads of detail in, in the book so that kids do spot things on the eighth time that they read the book that they've never seen before. Because um, I just think that's super, super important, it adds depth. Um, it adds depth to the book too and um, yeah I spent hours copying these illustrations and you know it taught me a lot about perspective and character design and all that sort of stuff so yeah I definitely I would say he's the single biggest influence on my uh, illustration career. 
Um, well, really, I just want to say a great big thank you to uh, to Richard Scarry because I think without his books, I would not be a children's book illustrator and author myself today. You know, he was that big an influence on me, on me, the big single biggest influence on me in my career, I would say. Um, and you know, I'm only uh, I'm only sad that I can't get to say thank you in person to him because that's I really really would love to be able to do that. But you know. The next best thing is to be saying it to you, to be saying it in public, because honestly, Richard Scarry is my hero. <laughs>